Yo, what is good everybody? Ben from Lover of Tech and we are back for another unboxing video. Again, not my usual, but this is from Elgato. This is their new light strip. And I believe this is their first light strip. Um, I don't even have that much information on it in terms of pricing, release date and whatnot, but shout out to Elgato again for reaching out and sending this in before release and um, to check it out and test it and review it. Uh, yeah, okay, cool. Let's see. So this is their light strip and we're just going to pretty much, this will be most likely just a raw unscripted unboxing just to see what's in the box, what it's meant to be. And then once I get to my full review in terms of how to set it up and what the intended use and how it performs, I will be doing that. But I always like to do an unboxing where I can to really kind of give myself a raw impression of it. And I, I prefer it when it's with a product that I'm completely not sure of, I have no idea of, I've not seen any leaks of it. And for someone that really prides himself in trying to make sure that my production is as good as possible when it comes to lighting, audio, sound, as well as video, anything that I can use to spruce it up, I'm always interested in. So big shout out to Elgato and the fact that they're broadening their product portfolio is a good look as well. So light strip great packaging kind of expected when it comes to the Elgato you know color scheme and whatnot so you do have app control 2000 lumens um rgb ww leds 60 million colors warm to cold white and also stream deck integration Elgato did send me a stream deck as well so big shout out to them for that so i'm interested when i heard stream deck integration I was just like, okay, cool. That sounds great. As for someone that does live streams and you will see with my setup, it's nothing fancy, but it pretty much near enough has the same similar principle to what you're seeing at the back here. So superior LED technology, slim and flexible design, control on your control on your terms, full spectrum color, direct stream deck integration. That really sounds like the USP, the unique selling point and the key selling point of this, how it's integrated into the Elgato stream deck. Now I'm getting familiar with the stream deck. The stream deck brings simplicity, but the setup does have a little bit of a learning curve, but it is very easy to pick up and use once it's integrated into the apps that you want, whether it's OBS, OBS Streamlabs, or what you can use in terms of the multi commands, which I, I can't wait to get that patterned in. But yeah, this is pretty much it. Talked enough. Let's box this bad boy. Nothing special with my unboxing knife, but you know, gets it done. Got a big shout out to Elgato for this, man. Ooh. Okay. Light strip. Let's get this to the side for a minute. Okay, right. We've got a couple of things in here. Different plug heads already. I love the fact that it's modular. Just based on a first impression, the plug system is modular. That's a good look. That is a very good look. Very, very simple packaging. Let's put this down to the side. Hopefully this won't be too long. Got adhesive. And this, this is the light strip. Wow, okay. Let's put this all together right here. Let's go into the quick start. Let me see what's good. So you've got the light strip, which you've got the power connector at the end. Cool. The modular plugs for the different regions of the world that you're in. Power cable and the actual light strip. Mounting. The length of the light strip can be adjusted to accommodate for chosen application to shorten light strip. Use a pair of scissors to cut along and indicate trim line approximately. Okay. Disconnect light strip from power before shortening. All right. Okay. So which obviously makes sense depending on the table or the intended use and how you're planning to use it. Um, installation, download, um, yeah, the con control center app. Okay, so there's the Elgato control center app um, telling you how to reset it. Gives you warning of light strip may be hot during prolonged use, always handle with care, which obviously makes sense. Um, 
light strip made for indoor use only so again indoor use only do not cover this product especially the controller right be especially cautious when setting setting up near children do not leave light strip in direct sunlight keep the light keep the lighting surface free from dirt and dust if light strip becomes dirty wipe it um lightly with a soft cloth um moistened uh, with little water mild mutual oh uh, man that's a lot <laughs> benzene thinner or other volatile agents can cause permanent damage and should never be used for cleaning okay do not use the products for applications other than the specified in this guide of the packaging do not use accessories other than supplied with the product okay a lot of warning um okay so it looks simple enough in terms of the mounting it's a two-step process from what they've said because it's got the tesla adhesive on there clean the mounting surface with a lint free cloth okay cool makes sense i always like to go through these quick guides because it gives an impression of how simple how complex the setup process should be now with this i don't know if i'm going to turn this on as of yet all right but let me see cool you've got the velcro And this is the light strip. Right. Okay, dog. So, power connector goes here for the LED strip. Oh, am I wrong? I was it off the side? Sorry. My fault. Ha 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 ha. So it's the opposite end that goes in, that goes there. I guess I will turn it on. It'll be interesting to see how, so I'm guessing this light strip is what gives the wireless control. since I'm based in the UK. Hmm. Uh. Noob. Is that this way? I can't even fix a plug. <laughs> The fun in doing raw unboxings, aren't they? Let's see how long this is gonna take me. Oh no. No. Eesh. Don't wanna break it. So they're modular. This looks kind of complex. It shouldn't be complex. Okay, right. So it's reverse upside down. That's why. Ah. Should I feel embarrassed? Yes, I should. Okay. Let's do this. What I'm going to do. Turn up. Down the box. Okay, let there be light, and there was light. Right, let me come back into frame. Oh, feels like Christmas. Okay, so these are the strips. Now, I'm not gonna do a full setup on this. I'll do this on my setup and my full review. And this unboxing pretty much gets it in. And it looks like when it comes to the app control, as well as the integration with um, the Elgato Stream Deck, this is where it really starts to really come into its play because there isn't any control on here in terms of the light strip. So I believe the light strip, or if it's built into here, will give that control with the Stream Deck as well as the app. So yeah, that is pretty much it with the light strip. Again, big shout out to Elgato for bringing this through. 
I'm gonna test this, get this set up, get this reviewed. There will be a separate video on that, but this was just a first impressions unboxing of the Ogato light strip. Um, yeah, that's it for me, Ben from Lover of Tech. If you enjoy unboxing videos like this, you know exactly what to do, man. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you're part of Team TLS to Tech Lover Squad so you don't miss any future videos on the channel. I hope you're all safe during this time. I will catch you in the next one. Peace.